Have you ever pondered the enigma of the creature that didn't board Noah's Ark? As we explore the uncharted waters of mythology, history, and faith, we are drawn towards an intriguing tale today. This tale is as ancient as the universe itself, passed down through generations, whispered in hushed tones across the pages of time. We journey into an enigma that has been carefully concealed in the labyrinth of human consciousness. We venture into the fogged layers of belief, layered like the rings of an ancient tree, manifesting a tale that is emblematic of man's relationship with nature and the creatures that share his world. The tale, shrouded in layers of mystery, steeped in speculation, is a mirror reflecting our deepest fears and highest hopes. It's a story that unfolds the saga of survival, of resilience, and of an unyielding spirit that braves storms, crosses oceans, and maneuvers through the arc of time. The creature that didn't board Noah's Ark, an entity that slipped through the cracks of time, or simply chose not to embark on the journey, is the protagonist in our story. The creature's absence, its defiance, or perhaps its courage, poses questions that stir the curiosity within us. Along the way, we shall peel back layers of history and mythology, deciphering the codes of ancient texts, and piecing together fragments of a story that resonates with our own existence. As we delve deeper into the narrative, we discover elements that challenge our perception of the world around us. This exploration is a journey that transcends time and space. It's a quest for answers, a search for truth concealed beneath layers of conventional wisdom. It's a voyage of discovery that redefines our understanding of the world and urges us to question the accepted narratives of our time. As we embark on this exploratory journey, your companionship is invaluable. So fasten your seatbelts, brace yourself for an adventure that promises to be as mystifying as it is enlightening. Don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing tales. In the beginning, as the story goes, God determined to cleanse the earth of its wickedness by causing a great flood. The world was filled with chaos, the hearts of men soaked in corruption. Yet amidst this turmoil, there was Noah. Just an ordinary man he was, living his life quietly, watching as the world around him descended further into darkness. But God saw something in Noah. In a world filled with wickedness, Noah stood out as a beacon of hope, a man of unwavering faith and righteousness. When divine instructions were received, it was Noah who was tasked with the monumental challenge of constructing an ark, a massive structure of cypress wood and pitch, large enough to bear his family and a pair of every kind of animal on earth. It was an arduous task, a mission fraught with peril and uncertainty. Yet, Noah persevered, his faith never wavering. As the rainfall and the world was submerged, the ark became the last refuge for life on Earth. Despite the successful completion of Noah's mission, whispers persist of a creature left behind, a creature that did not find refuge within the wooden walls of Noah's ark. This tale of survival and faith leaves us with an intriguing question. What was the creature that was left behind? Don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing tales. This creature, known as the Basilosaurus, was a gargantuan marine beast, a leviathan of the ancient seas. Its name, derived from the Greek words basileus, meaning king, and soros meaning lizard, was a testament to the awe-inspiring terror it instilled in everything that encountered it. Its massive size, reaching up to 60 feet in length, was not its only intimidating feature. It was also equipped with an elongated, serpent-like body and a powerful skull that housed teeth as sharp as razors. This prehistoric marine monster was not just a beast of myth and legend, it was a very real part of our planet's history. It dominated. It dominated the oceans during an era known as the Eocene Epoch, a geologic period dating from 56 to 33.9 million years ago. This was a time when the world was entirely different from the one we inhabit today. A time when reptiles were the kings of both land and sea, and mammals were just starting to evolve into the diverse species we see today. The Basilosaurus's reign was unchallenged. It was the apex predator in its environment, striking fear into the hearts of even the most formidable marine creatures. It was a time of giants, a time when the world was dominated by creatures so large and powerful, they make our modern marine life look minuscule in comparison. The Basilosaurus is a testament to the incredible diversity and adaptability of life on Earth, an animal of such size and power that it was known as the king of the ancient seas. Its reign has long since ended, but its legacy lives on in the fossil record, a stark reminder of the cyclical nature of life and the relentless march of evolution. Don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing. 
When the skies darkened and the rains began to pour in torrents, the very fabric of the universe seemed to shake. It was then that Noah, filled with a sense of divine purpose, started his mission. The looming ark, a colossal wooden monument to survival, stood waiting, its bow pointing towards the wrathful heavens. Noah, with an unwavering determination etched on his face, began to herd the animals. This wasn't a simple task. It required patience, courage, and an understanding that transcended human comprehension. From the mighty elephants to the minute ants, he guided them, two by two, onto the ark's wooden ramp, into the safety and shelter of its cavernous interior. The ark soon became a floating menagerie, filled with the sounds, smells, and spirits of Earth's creatures. Each pair held a promise for the continuity of life, a hope for the future, a testament to survival. Yet, amidst this chaotic symphony of life, there was an absence. The Basilosaurus, the Basilosaurus, a creature of the sea, remained in the turbulent waters engulfed in the drama of the storm. This mighty sea serpent, the king of its realm, did not join the others in the refuge of the Ark. Why, you might ask? Why did this marine giant not seek shelter from the frightening storm? The mystery of the Basilosaurus, the Leviathan of the Deep, is a tale that has intrigued scholars for centuries. Don't forget to subscribe for The answer lies not in God's refusal, but in the Basilosaurus's nature itself. This prehistoric leviathan was a dominating force in the marine world, an awe-inspiring spectacle of nature's extraordinary power and innovation. The Basilosaurus, a pillar of the ocean's grand tapestry tapestry, was gracefully engineered for survival in the aquatic environment, completely at peace in the depths of the vast, unexplored blue. In the hauntingly beautiful abyss, it reigned supreme, unchallenged and unrivaled, an entity wholly dedicated to the life aquatic. The Basilosaurus, with its elongated body and monstrous jaws, was an expert the murky depths, its entire existence attuned to the ebbs and flows of the underwater symphony. It was not just a creature, but a dream born of the ocean, a testament to the untamed beauty and raw power of the sea. The thought of this magnificent creature, designed for the deep, trapped within confined, crowded space of an ark, is incongruous. It was a creature that danced with the waves, sang with the orchestra of underwater life, and reveled in the freedom that only the open sea could afford. The Basilosaurus was not life on land, let alone life aboard a crowded ark. Its home was not within wooden walls, but in the vast open ocean. It was a creature of the deep, a true child of the sea. Don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing tales. Furthermore, the Basilosaurus lived and died millions of years before humans walked the earth, before Noah built his ark. This grand creature, a majestic part of the prehistoric marine life, was a marvel of evolution that dominated its era, existing in an era so distant it's almost incomprehensible to the human mind. These magnificent creatures swam in the oceans that covered our earth, in a time when colossal dinosaurs were the masters of the land. Before the notion of a great flood was even conceived, before ancient civilizations were born, the Basilosaurus had already met its end. Its existence is known to only through its fossilized remains, precious relics from an era long past. Preserved in the depths of the earth, these fossils are a tangible link to a world that we can only imagine. They offer us an invaluable insight into the prehistoric world and the creatures that inhabited it. Fossils, in their silent, petrified state, are a testament to the relentless passage of time and nature's endless cycle of life and death. They tell the story of a world that is so vastly different, yet intrinsically connected to the one we live in. The Basilosaurus, despite its extinction, continues to exist through these remnants, leaving behind a legacy that will continue to intrigue and fascinate generations to come. In the grand scheme of Earth's history, the Basilosaurus played its part and then was lost to time, its echoes only found in the patterns of its fossilized remains. Its bones, now fossilized, offer us a glimpse into a world long gone, a testament to the ever-changing tapestry of life on Earth. Don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing tales. In conclusion, the story of the Basilosaurus is a tale of time and tide, of evolution and extinction. It's a reminder that not all creatures were meant to survive the Great Flood, not because they were unworthy, but simply because their time in the sun had set. The Basilosaurus did not enter Noah's Ark, not due to divine intervention, but due to the laws of nature and the passage of time. A captivating tale indeed, a tale that serves to remind us of the grandeur and mystery of the world we inhabit. 
Don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing tales.